Hey, Ricardo Almeida here, RABJJ in Hamilton, New Jersey. It's Professor Brian Walter, teaches our intermediate classes as well as some of the, the advanced classes. He's been with me for like 10 years, the black belt. I'm gonna demonstrate some cool stuff for you guys today. I'm gonna demonstrate a couple reversals for you guys today. It's a game that we've been playing uh, quite often here at the academy. Just a couple little inspiration from, you know, Professor Kyle Terra came here and did a seminar. You know, the Mendes brothers, it's a lot of this game is what like some of these new guys are doing and uh, we play with it and we try to give it our own twist. So let's have some fun. So first, we're just going to be right here from whenever someone has their knees down, like a lot of the wrestlers tend to try to be real strong when you're going without the gear. Real hard to maneuver, they won't let you control the head, they keep ducking under. So we're just going to initiate with a quick arm drag. Alright, my opponent's going to pulse that leg up because he wants to avoid getting reversed. Right here, my goal is to get my hip under the leg and then tangle just like so. All right. I like to call this over under guard. I'm going to have an overhook right here. If you can take a look on this side, I have it under. I'm pinched nice and tight on the leg. All right. You see a lot of the guys get here and try to get under and reverse that way. But guys with real good days keep coming back. So once we get to this position, all right, I'm just going to drag the leg over and then twist and reverse. If I try to pass this way, my opponent is going to high leg and start getting the guard back. So I like pinning the leg down, controlling this leg right here. Not grabbing the pants, all right, but just controlling, sticking this under my armpit for a little uh, Mendes style leg drag pass. One more time. Any time, like it doesn't have to be arm drag, all right. Sometimes you can just off balance your corner off a butterfly guard, cock that heel, slide your hip under, control the leg. All right, now fight the urge to go that way because your opponent's gonna have real good base. I like just opening my elbows real quick, popping my hip up, watch how that leg drags across. All right, if you wanna get tight on that leg, just come almost to the Achilles lock control. If your opponent's grabbing you over here, he's trying to open your knee, grab that wrist. All right, and then just twist your opponent over. Your hand goes to the mat, my head wants to be high. Short lift right here, come back into the guard, little leg drag, get control of the upper body, right to side. Again, dealing with someone on their knees without the gi, we don't have the handles, we don't have the collar, all right? We don't, you know, I'm assuming you're not trying with someone with gi pants and we're not grabbing that gi pants, so we have to move a little bit differently, all right? Uh, always off balancing our partner. Guiding him over, getting our opponent to step up. Transition you onto our over on the guard. All right. This time I'm just going to pop that hip, drag that leg across. Now I want to gain even better control, so I'm going to escape the hip, lock, and come back. Now I'm pretty tight. I can start arching, all right, and attacking here or off balancing my corner for a little Achilles lock. But my opponent is not going to sell for that. He's going to start standing up because he wants to step over the leg and come around. If I do nothing, he's going to pass my guard. All right, come back down faster. So I'm going to react, react right here. As soon as he stands up, I'm going to shoot my leg behind and get almost like an axe guard right there. Then we extend and release. Transitioning to the back. I almost come up with a wheelbarrow. All right, my partner generally pulls guard. If not, we'll go right to side control. 